So what do you do if you've committed, but you haven't signed, and a coach from the school that you are going to go to, that you're committed to, no longer is there? So let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Coach Mike Woosley. Um, I help qualified student athletes get recruited. And over my time working with families, I've helped uh, student athletes receive over $16 million in scholarship money. So let's talk about this. What do you do if you're committed and the coach leaves the school that you're committed to? Um, so you need to do a few things. First, um, you need to understand the recruiting process. So if you don't have an understanding of the recruiting process, you need to get a grasp on that as quickly as possible. Touch base with the recruiting coordinator or your position coach, whomever you've been uh, in touch with the most prior to your commitment. You need to ask, hey, do I have a spot? What's the new coach like? Uh, you need to find out if that new coach is going to retain you since you've already been committed. Now, you may have to start the recruiting process all over, but uh, before you do that, make sure you contact the coaching staff and, if possible, the new coach to introduce yourself and find out if you're still a good fit, okay? Again, note that those things may change. A coach may come in and require um, different kinds of players for their program, uh, for their style of offense or defense or what have you. Um, so you may not fit that prototype, but you need to find out for sure if you do. Now, in the meantime, you should be uh, putting some feelers out, testing the waters and seeing what new opportunities you have. OK, um, if you've already signed, it's a totally different program, uh, the NCAA and the National Letter of Intent rules require that you are pretty much stuck into that uh, National Letter of Intent for a minimum of one year. There are some situations where you can appeal and you can get out um, of your NLI, but those opportunities are very rare and you've got to go through a long and arduous process. So hopefully this information helped you out. If you have any more questions, I want you to DM me below or you can find me on social media at Michael Woosley on Twitter and Instagram. Um, you can find my YouTube channel. If you haven't already done so, like and subscribe so you're getting more videos and more content to help you with your recruiting. Best of luck.